So these are our choices. We've went out to see Mama. We then went outside. We went to the Yakuza. We dealt with the Yakuza. And a politician who's involved in the Yakuza. We're on the way home. We get a phone call. And... We got Pitts McGee. And we got Ota. Now... We can look at everything again, because we... why not? One more bowl, please. That would be soba. And this game really does think that it's funny. It really does. I don't know why it thinks it's funny. It's not. Um... Low table. Bank monitor. Magazine rack. Had to get rich with cryptocurrency. I'd have been taking that one. Vending machines. Door. Eye table. Plant. Date, look, a little stink bug. Oh, I've, apparently, I was interested in bugs. I don't know why. Yay, a stink bug. <laughs> I, yep. I don't know why. Why would an eye be interested about bugs? Oh, that's room to wear. Uh, is it? It looks like three goes. Who okay. is that? Point. Just. Okay. Okay, let's uh, go back. We've got. Reception desk. A logo. Uh, so, yeah, this is the owner of Lemon Escape who just died. That said that. That one is called Lying, Wishing, Marking Demons. An incomprehensible abstract painting. Good to know. And a window. Anything else? I think that is it. So, we also have to do the obligatory. You know, everyone has to do it. Look at Tits McGee. Not to her face, of course. Hey, girl with the big tits. Um, excuse me? Shit, I said it to her face. <laughs> I want to run away and never look back. <laughs> oh, we're no longer get the just calling her big tits. Okay, well, let's flirt. You get asked out a lot, don't you? I don't know why you're sitting here behind a desk. You should be an idol. <laughs> Oh, thank you. But despite my looks, I am a bit too old to be an idol. No. I can get into it now. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I turned 36 this year. Oh, <laughs> I just like for me, just like, what, are you six? You're kidding. <laughs> uh, do you want to go get some food sometime? Hey now, that's awfully aggressive. You're an alpha type, aren't you? Yes, lady. That's I why I'm playing a video that. game. <laughs> and I kind of like you. <laughs> this game is so frustrated. Oh, but there is one little thing you should know about me. Good guy. I'm a reptilian. No, is that going to be a problem? What's a reptilian? A reptilian humanoid alien. They are said to be shapeshifters that take on human form. You know what? Yeah, that is definitely going to be a problem. Oh, too bad. No problem. After all, it means we get to see each other again. This is going to be endless. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, can we just keep... Oh, okay. Where's Ivis? She's recording a podcast right now. Looking at her schedule. It should end soon. Okay, oh, so you want to talk to me. Fine. Uh, about... Where have you been? Where have you been? Because we looked for you. Nowhere. Just doing my normal routine. Being a creep is not a normal routine. I don't know your normal routine. Also, yeah, you can't just introduce and say... I was doing my normal routine. Who knows what your normal routine is other than you? I went to a dojin store to look at the new releases, and I ate some ramen at Juro's, and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. 
God, he's a predator. <laughs> you know, normal. None of that is normal. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. How about Renju's case? Uh, I don't know anything. He I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. Thermal check? This is his current body temperature. Huh? How does that help me? That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Well, wait, it's no big deal. I just... Yeah, I've got a witness here, so... You better start talking. Okay. Let's ask about Mizuki, because... Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. Yeah. What? You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. She's also in, like, my... my... Am I Guardian? That's right. I think? He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. Yeah. I have no reason to hide it, but it's sort of hard to explain. Um, yeah. Yeah. I spoke to Mizuki at her, um, questioning earlier. You're sick, Date. What? Questioning? That sounds dirty. How does that sound dirt? Oh my god. If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. What kind of novels are you writing, kid? I can't even comment about this. Let's go back to the Vinci thing. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket. What the hell are you in every crime scene? And I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Someone was with him. A man. How? Oh. Go. No. A woman. Um. What is this? What is this? Okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? I swear to- N No, it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Okay, so what we've established here is that you've been in the location of two crime scenes now. Of two people who happen to be the parents of your friend. And there's also Egoda, who for some reason seems to be getting involved originally for no reason and is now with the murder victim at the same time of death got it so Renju was with iris okay fine there's no point in hiding it i guess you're right Renju came out of the building with tessa but tessa has nothing to do with this literally kid you don't know that and neither do I, and that's what we're trying to get to the bottom of. She wouldn't murder anyone, she wouldn't hurt a fly! You don't know that, kid. She's an idol! Yeah, and I played Dangan Rumper, and uh, Idol was the first person to try and kill someone, so... Idols don't kill people? No, they, they end up dying in the back room and trying to write out the killer's... their murderer's name on the wall. You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Yeah, yeah. Tessa yeah. is a savior to me. And you're a creep. The Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. Stop white knighting for a girl who could be a murderer. Is she here yet? Okay. Savior? The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. It was the lowest point of my life. <laughs> He is okay. talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Thank you, Ivor. We're just clarifying that he is worthless. 
Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing. And that saved you, did it? That, that is what brought you out of your depression, because you saw a girl dance on stage and sing. And it made me realize something important. You like girls. You don't have to care what people think, you know? No, you don't. You don't. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. I like that idea. You know what, kids, you aren't so bad. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. Uh -huh. True. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. Is she just dancing in, like, the image? Can't she not stand still? And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. Okay. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. Okay, but she could just be getting close to you and using you as an alibi, mate. Slow down. I didn't say I was supposed to murder. Yeah. Why are you, why are you suggesting but do you suspect her? I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. Yeah. But... Do it for Iris. Yeah, yeah, kid. What time did Benji and Iris leave? Around 6.15, I guess. Okay. I don't know when the murder took place. I wasn't Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. Okay, so if they're in Renju's... I think someone had Renju's car to get rid of the body unless Renju murdered. And what did you do? Okay. I went inside Sunfish Pocket, but I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. The entire club was reserved? That means someone had money. What happened? Date. Oh, don't give me that look. Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Mm -hmm. What was that? Please, headquarters. She hasn't changed clothes in like a day. She's stinky. Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. If you could, it would be very helpful. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. I'm treating you like a person who could be a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth. Yes, just tell me the truth, love. And I would appreciate your cooperation. Just tell me everything. Tell me everything you know. 